Hello audience. Greetings of the day. Today we will discuss about what is a power integrity. Power integrity is one of the overwhelming subjects when it comes to PCB designing. We have tried to explain all the things related to power integrity. Clean and stable power rail voltages are the basis for proper performance of any electronic design. The continuing demand for higher performance, higher level of integration and lower power consumption drives supply voltages down, making voltage tolerances tighter and power rail qualification a challenging task. Qualifying the power supply for sensitive analog receiver circuits means measuring very small disturbances at relatively high DC offset levels. A circuit board requires one or more power supply voltages to operate. Voltage regulator modules, VRMs, mostly generate these. These VRMs are designed to deliver the required maximum currents at the required voltages to the various devices on the circuit board. Power distribution network, PDN, consists of all the interconnects from the VRMs to the terminal or pads of various components and devices, ICs, etc., including all the bulk and ceramic decoupling capacitors, power and ground planes, the intervening vias, traces and the relevant leads, solder balls, wire bonds, etc. of the device packages. PCB Power Integrity PCB can be viewed as a closed electrical system with a power distribution network, PDN. To achieve power integrity, all components or modules must be supplied with power at the level required for operation, which is not simply making sure that voltages are at, or above, an acceptable level. The major threat to power integrity for your PDN involves line variations or transients from your power supply that may cause fluctuations in the quality of your power profile. Optimal PCB Power Integrity Design Optimal management of your power integrity requires that higher frequency RF signals are isolated from your PDN. Largely, the power integrity of your board depends upon your application of design techniques and choices for its manufacture to mitigate these potential issues, promote power, and signal integrity. Managing power integrity on your PCB can be viewed as designing your board such that power supply output variation is minimized, interference between traces and the PDN is minimized and power losses and dissipation are adequately managed. These objectives can be simultaneously achieved by employing the following tips into your design process. Make good use of capacitance and filters. Capacitance can be used to improve power integrity in a number of ways. First, the PCB stack-up materials should be chosen to manage the board capacitance across a range of frequencies. Bulk capacitors can also be also used to mitigate voltage drops due to trace inductance. Additionally, Decoupling capacitors may be placed between adjacent signal paths to minimize interference. Filters comprised of capacitors, inductors and resistors should also be used to remove harmonics and quickly dampen frequency variations from switching circuitry. Utilize trace parameters to control route impedances. Controlling the impedance on power traces is critical. The best way to control impedances is by manipulating PCB trace width and copper thickness. Use separate grounds for digital and analog signals. Just as components and traces should be isolated according to signal type, so should your grounding. This may require that your PCB stack up include multiple ground planes. Use regulators on power supply inputs. Your PDN is vulnerable to fluctuations from your power supply. You should utilize voltage or current regulators to minimize the ripple effect of these variations and stabilize the power to board components. Select materials to help control impedance.
One of the major decisions that impact your power integrity is board impedance, which is determined by your choice of materials. By following the tips listed above, you will be able to optimize the power integrity for your design. Thanking you.